Let's go get them again. This one right here, easy intro. One of the best mints in the game. Let's go. Fragrance family, welcome to the Rogue Doy channel. I'm your host, Mark. This series of Pop the Cherries, where I pop the cork on a full bottle purchase, give you my initial thoughts. I wore this scent on my skin as my scent of the day for a few days, including today. And now it's time to give you my thoughts before it goes into the vault for a full-fledged review. Now on to our beautiful sponsor of the day, FragranceX.com. I did want to take the time to thank them for Geranium Pour Monsieur. You actually get a bottle of this too on their site. Actually, they have tons of Frederick Malls on that site. Check out Fragrance X. Support me by utilizing my coupon code, which is my YouTube handle. It's written right at the bottom there. And you can't forget it. Robes08 in their coupon section. You put pop that in, you get 15% off on any purchase, including, of course, Rapion's Geranium Pour Monsieur. So... This is from the house of Frederick Mall. Um, I own several from the brand. You don't see much of videos published by me uh, from uh, Frederick Mall. That's about to change. I want to delve more into this brand and give you guys more content on the brand. Now, this is a pop the cherry video, but I've had this bottle since May of 2019. I've put a hell of a dent in this uh, bottle. Wow. Um, I like this stuff. Spring, ooh, I, I love my mints. Um, now this is of course a geranium based release. So it's more than just mint, but that uplif uplifting top is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna let you know about that. So let's go into uh, under the hood with this one. Let's take a look at some stats. First of all, release date, 2009. Nose, Dominique Rapillon. Um, he's a genius. Major notes to my nose, mint, geranium, which is a good thing, it's in the name. And anise. Now, time to crack this one open again. It's my scent of the day. I got that beautiful dry down right up in here, but let's uh, let's spray the back of my hand here. Great atomizer on these malls. Um, one thing to note: I am so happy that I got the big the big boy uh, bottle, the 100 ml, because a fragrance like this, I'm very thin. You like to apply a lot of it or reapply it during the day. Um, so these are the fragrances, and those are things like a, a, as a frag head, you start learning. You're like. Ah, 50 mil of a fresh release that I really, really like. Maybe pop it up to 100 mil. Those are pro tips right there for free. Up top, oh, God damn it. That opening uh, gravitates your nose to a uplifting mentholated minty note. And oh, oh, is it good. It's watery. It's green. It's herbal. It's authentic. It's just one of the best in the game. That opening has to be in the talks of the best in the game. And it is, and it, for some people, it is numero uno, and I know why. Um, for me, I gotta throw the name in the hat as one of the best mint-based release. Now, Rapion took the minty part of geranium, amplified this opening to give you that mentholated thinness, that coolness that you get when you put geranium pour monsieur on your skin, right off the bat, mentholated, very cooling frosty almost that's how the the mint in here just pops and it is absolutely beautiful now this fragrance is known for its minty introduction but there's so much more to geranium pour monsieur the opening also shows a lemony aspect of the note of geranium so you're gonna have a little bit of a citric aspect in this release um that pairs with the mint of course very very well um obviously mint gravitates to your nose but once you start peeling some of the layers you're gonna feel a little bit of that citrus touch up top now rapion mall would not just do a straight up minty scent and that's it. No, 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 no. They absolutely gave this release some great structure and it shows itself almost from the get go, giving the minted spotlight for that short period of time as he bursts. But the, but the mint makes way for much more. And we're gonna talk about that more into the heart of the release. Now, into the dry down, it shows some spice to the release. It, it gives you a little bit of balls here. We got some cloves, we got some cinnamon here, and we have, of course, that anise. Gives the scent some character. It actually gives it a lot of personality. It's not just a straight up thin minty scent. Uh, James Healy did one, Mount Freisch, very thin. And all those notes kind of support that mintiness. Here, um, it's almost like a two-stager. 
It'll give you that mint that it's known for and everybody talks about, but it goes more into much more depth in this release. Those spices give it some personality and makes this scent, and dare I say, way wearable in a lot of seasons. I'm wearing it in the fall now, no problems. No problems at all. That minty uplifting feel sometimes is good in the fall, uh, but that 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 darkness in the in the background, not too dark because you want to keep this as a spring staple. It does its job so well. The blend, fantastic. Now the central note in this release is what's on the sticker? Geranium. Yeah, geranium. Um, it, it's kind of a shame because everybody talks about the mint and you know what? It, it's well worth it. You know, it, it deserves its praise as a minty release, but geranium is a complex note. It gives you a lot of facets. And in this release, it actually gives you a lot of its facets here. And this is what I like, like a, a fragrance like a tonka bean fragrance. Tonka Imperial by Guedelang shows you everything from the tonka bean to the almond to the cherry. It's giving you everything it's got. And this is the type of release that Rapillon did everything with the geranium. It gives you that green herbal mint that you, you got up top. The spices, it's giving you a little bit of that peppery kick that geranium is known for. Even the floral side of the geraniums in here, kind of like a rosy, soapy tendency, is in geranium pour monsieur. The spices, the resins are here, but they, they kind of back off. They're, they're not that thick of spices, and they continue on the light theme. I, I like that trick from Rapillon to, to, to continue to keep it on an even keel. It's not like very light minty note and blah -dow, you get a really dark backing to the release. It just feels very, very good transition, we'll say. I mean, it really is blended to the T. There's, there's some soft sandalwood up in here. There's some musk too, and it gives the base some warmth. It reminds me of something actually of what Jean Claude Elena would do. It's light yet has some depth to it. Excellent composition. Looking forward to the full-fledged review on my end. I'm excited about this. So anybody that's watching this should be excited about this, this full-fledged review from me because I'm just starting to scratch the surface on it. Again, I put a pretty good dent, so I know this release quite well. Um, it, it was one of my favorites in the spring of this year. Now let's get into the revolver on this one. Let's talk about seasons, day, night, versatility, and performance. We'll start with seasons. Mostly spring. It is going to make some top 20 spring lists. Uh, <laughs> For a while, um, summer too, um, I felt like summer nights, it was working better than the, the hot heat, um, even though that introduction is very uplifting. And the fall, it's a dark horse for fall. I'm telling you, if you own this and you think it's just a spring scent or a spring summer scent, oh no, you're wrong. It's got some fall in it too. Uh, day or night, I feel like it's more of a daily driver. Um, just a, You could dress it up or dress it down, doesn't matter, but a daily driver. Versatility, I think it's above average. It's one of those that um, you spray it and you don't think about it. It's not going to be uh, something that people are going to go, who's in the building smelling like cologne? It's not one of those. It's very well made. Now, performance on this one. Uh, not too crazy, six to eight hours, which is pretty good. And projection was fairly average. So you're not gonna get a beast out of this thing, but again, very solid as a scent. So now onto my final thoughts on Geranium pour Monsieur. Worth the damn money <laughs> is what I have to say. To note, many of my Pop the Cherry videos are scents that I've purchased almost a year ago with a collection like mine. Only the standouts can really get hit with the dent like this one. Usually they get ignored because I'm working on other stuff. These are fragrances that are off to the side here. And they're, they're all of these, and you should see this, I'm panning this. <laughs> these are the ones that are waiting for a pop the cherry video. So sometimes I go into, I dip dip in there and I wear these once in a while just to kind of get my grasp on them. But this one got a lot of use and it just shows its versatility. Um, definitely something uh, I had no issues wearing in the office in any season, to be quite honest. Um, easy to wear, and I've grabbed it quite a bit over the year. This is such an excellent scent and is quickly climbing as one of my favorite malls of all time. One thing for sure, this Pop the Cherry just scratched the surface on this beautiful scent. I can't wait to, to put it uh, on the other side of, <laughs> of this room where all my full-fledged review bottles are waiting for me to review them. Yeah, you're gonna get the a, a bang up fragrance review. Definitely this one, Geranium. Now I'm done with Geranium pour Monsieur by of course the master Dominique Rapillon for the house of Frédéric Mal. Now it's time for all of you to hit us up in the comments below. 
Tell us what you think of this fragrance. Are you blown away as much as I have? Um, I absolutely love it and I can't wait to see your comments on either side of the coin. You can say, hey, I got performance issues or I didn't really like the mint on here. It smells like toothpaste. Those are things that mint comes to play. It smells like mouthwash, things like that. Um, I'm not on that bandwagon in regards to this release, FYI. I would have said it in the video if I did, but uh, definitely a, a great release in my eyes from the house of Frederick Mall. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your geranium-based release wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.